new choke plungers one on either side but need to put the uh, the link bar across on them too really but to do that I need to add this the stabilizing bar at the back so that the cards don't twist when you put the chokes on right jetting jetting on this bike with those pea shooter pipes is a nightmare uh, Every time that you pull away, you get a dead spot or a, or a slight stumble on acceleration. Don't give you no confidence in corners or anything like that, and it's really annoying, especially when you're slowing down and you go pull away and there's a bur bur kind of thing. So, um, what have I done so far? I've had the, the basic setup in here with a 2C free needle, the 105 um, needle jet. Needle put a clip position in the middle. Um, pilots, 25s, cold start, 50s, everything basic set up. Started with that, one and a half turns out on the screws. Got the stumble, um, and that was with 200 um, main jets. I went to two 10 main jets, and um, the response was much better. The, uh, um, the bike performance was much better, but I still had the stumble. So, and that was um, with a free slide, sorry, originally with a free slide, so I went down to a two and a half slide, and it seemed a bit better. Um, then I went down to a two slide, and it just felt like rubbish. So I went back to the free slide, and what did I do then? I know, I went to a, a three and a half slide, I tried a three and a half slide out, I tried that out yesterday. And uh, the bike really took off. It's like it was like you're in a you're on a racetrack. I mean, it really it really shot off. You know, open the throttle up. It, 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 it was it was like a monster. It went like a fucking monster, but it still had to stumble. So, um, Gareth, um, you mentioned about the, the the ceiling rubber in between the the, the carb and the air filter. And I've, I've noticed that on mine, I've just got a bit of plastic tube that slots in there, and that's that does have a bit of a gap in it. And I've also noticed on my on, under these covers, the air box doesn't screw tightly, doesn't make a proper seal. So I need to address that as well to make sure the air box is all completely sealed up properly. So I want to do that. <clears throat> I need to take these three and a half jets out, put the freeze back in, and sort. The, uh, the 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 ceiling out on the on the filter side of things, and then we'll give it a test run from there. So I have to get started on that. I think. See, I've got a gap all around there. I thought about drilling a hole in here, putting a thread all the way through, and a nut and bolt on either end, uh, a nut on either end to pull these, pull these in. These are pretty twisted. I mean, they're not not really tight on there, but they don't tight enough to close it all up. So I found this stuff, which will. Fit. fit all the way over all the way around so that might press up against the uh, the um, oh, you can't see it this gear here I'll put that on the way around and that might press up against the um, uh, the, the side pan the, the Ujima flip let's see if we can get that on No 
gaps in it now. That doesn't move like the other one does. That's quite in there solid. I'll show you the other side. If you can get around there. See the other one. You can see it's there's no uh, big gap there. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? the same this side, isn't it? This is 10mm 10mm and I think that's 8mm 8 point 9mm 9, 9 or 10mm um, edging edging rubber whatever it is, whatever it's called don't even know what it's called but that's, what, um, that's what's on there and there was a gap in that, just in case anyone's interested. It is, that is about three mil, three mil, three mil by ten mil by nine mil or something. Here's the two coils from the um, the Triumph, right, and I was. Working out, I couldn't work out, and every every different um, carb setup I had done on that Triumph, I hit the same problem with the, uh, with the with the slight dead spot at acceleration. And you know, you know, um, you just troll troll for all, all sorts of things online and find out if other people are having the same problem. And I found one, one. Um, one bloke had the same problem as what I'm getting and he done exactly what I'd done. He changed all the, the settings, the jets, the slides, the needles, the needle positions, the pilot jets, the, the he, he done everything and had exactly the same problem. And I was, I was thinking about it the other night, I go, if you change all that, if you if you if you change all the different carb settings and you're still getting the same problem, it can't be the carbs, can it? Because if you're changing all that, that much settings you shouldn't. You should never get the same problem. It should change straight away as soon as you make one change. So what he done? He checked his coils. One of his coils was breaking down. So which which kind of makes sense really? Because if you if you one of your coils are breaking down and you're getting a weak spark, when you wind that throttle open, you're you're pumping fuel into your cylinders, and with that much fuel going into your cylinders, for that instant it's flooding the flooding the. Uh, the plugs and stopping it sparking so that'll give you that dead spot that's what I figured anyway anyway so I took the um, the coils out these are the two 6 volt coils out of the Triumph and I'm going to show you I'm going to show you first we do the on the 200 ohms we give you the the ohms reading across the uh, the primary windings which is what 2.6 2.6 ohms 2.6 ohms on that one. And go down to 2.6 eventually on that one. So there's your two primary windings. Uh, yeah, primary windings. Your secondary windings. I think I got that the right way around. Let me stick that on 200,000. So you got the. Which is. Which gives me a reading of nine point something or another on one of the coils nine point three is it nine point three on one of the coils and you go to this coil nothing not a, not a fucking sausage try on that nothing not a sausage right back to this coil 9.3 on both of them 9.3 back to this one nothing 
zilch. So look, the, the, the secretary winding on this core here is naff. So that could be the cause of all my problems with the carbs. So I might spend months and years and years changing the setups in the carbs. All I needed to do was change one coil. Anyway, I've got a couple of coils on order. So um, what I'll do is uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put my bike back to standard settings more or less. Apart from the two the 210 main jet. And what we'll do is when I get the two new coils, I'll whack them in. We'll take it down the road. Right, and that'll probably be the next video because at the moment I've got to go home and cut the hedge. <laughs> right, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching and I, maybe we'll get to the bottom of this.